Okay, now I'm going to give you the measurements for installing the staple shifter itself. Okay. Now, um, I actually, before I... Because I wrapped a liner bomb this car, so that underneath the car is immaculate. Um, I did captured nuts underneath this thing. Basically, instead of just using this... Because this, the staple shifter will come with sheet metal screws, which you can screw this thing down. You screw it down here, you screw it down there, and then there's screws back here. I want to bolt this thing down, so there's actually... I used uh nuts underneath while it in place and it's bolted down that way so that way it's if you pull a nut i bet you take a bolt out of there and put it right back in no big deal you know with sheet metal screws you pull them out a few times you basically destroy your hole and have to go with a bigger sheet metal screw in this case i've had this table shift out several times and it still tightens down uh the hole back here it uh mounts inside the uh center console okay the measurements for this thing all right let me let's go with the uh this bracket right here but this bracket basically is the one that you get looks like this from the foot from when you order the uh, console mining bracket it sits back there and you have to find out how high it goes so and where it goes in relation to the, the back seat so you know where because the center console basically there's a place right down it bolts onto that and you take two sheet screw metal screws you screw into that thing okay dimensions let's go with the uh bracket first all right so the bracket going from where the it's too far i need to bring this tape measure in just a little bit come here you i missed another tape measure let's shorten that up a little bit there we go so i'm gonna go from the uh where the back seat is coming forward the edge of that it is let me get it straight here i'm gonna make it down flush at the bottom take it down as far as it'll go up against the back edge of that where it's just barely touching it and again if this is off a little bit it's not gonna hurt anything because you got plenty of room there basically it is 17 and an eighth inches to uh this edge right here so from this edge here to that right there 17 and 8 inches uh, forward. So, that, and then you can weld that down. Now, the height, that's the thing I didn't know. I wrapped around the bottom of this car. I welded this in place. I didn't want, again, it comes with sheet metal screws that you basically screw this in place. But I could not find one video that showed how, whoa, how high does this thing sit? Where does it sit in relation to this? So, I had to figure it all out a little at a time. But I never found any video that showed me. The height of that bracket. Morgan, here you go. I think it's an inch and an eighth. Let me look at it. Double check that. So it needs to be an inch and eighth high. And how I know that is because the uh, center console basically has, it'll, it'll teeter totter if it's not level. So let me go ahead and look at this this way. Oh man, this is real hard on the knees. Oh, let me get down. Ouch. Low here. <clears throat> hard on the knees. So on the bracket here, it is. Uh, inch and an eighth or thereabouts let me see if i can get you in close enough where you can see that without turning my phone off uh, nope that's not going to help but take word for it let me get down low here it's about inch actually it shows it one inch there and yeah one inch and a sixteenth so just to say one inch so from, now actually this is a probably, it probably was inch and eighth before I put the uh, kill mat on here. So, metal up, it's inch and an eighth. This kill mat's at least an eighth inch thick. So, I'm going to say that's from eighth inch when it's gone. I'm pretty sure that was an inch and an eighth tall from the metal to the top of this, one inch and an eighth. I basically took a bullet level, had my car sitting level, took a long level across here. Use a uh, carpenter's level, it was over three foot long, and uh, use that. Got everything nice and level, put a bolt level on this, got that level, tacked and welded it in place. You can use the sheet metal screws, that's what, how they were done from the factory. I wanted it welded in place so it'll never be an issue and I don't have any holes penetrating the bottom of my car. So there's that. Okay, so the staple shifter itself, it only sits in one spot. So once you slide this back and forth, it'll actually kind of sit. If you go if you go too far forward, you'll see it kind of lay pulling itself up you come back too far it doesn't sit correctly so from the factory it's designed to sit in a certain spot okay the part I wish I had found, I'd realized earlier okay here is 
the cable all right there's a the cable for that it sits inside this hole and i read where you need to have the hole uh, i think it's an inch i bought a hole saw and this hole is one and a half wide one two yeah i believe it was one and a half inches wide that's too much it doesn't have to be one and a half inches wide it really should have been let me see how wide this is so you can see the width of the actual seal itself it is one and a half on that but i think the hole is one and three quarters so you want you want a one and a half it because you basically want it to sit around this right here to seal up and uh it's too big from what i can tell so and the length of this now this is a 454 big block ouch up my head with the 400 tur turbo transmission the length of this uh link the linkage here let me get this here galloway is 30 inches long go there yeah the cable you need is 30 inches long now this comes from shift works which is a really good cable i have another one if i can find it i didn't like it so ordered this one because i like this set up here a lot better if i could find the other linkage wherever it's at over here with other parts i'm not sure where i set that at but i didn't like this uh how it how it basically fit inside the uh, hole it looks like you'd never be able to seal the damn thing way too flimsy so somewhere on here is one of these that is also too long so order this one and it's 30 inches long 400 turbo transmission with a 454 big block and it is 30 inches long so you need a 30 inch long cable there's your measurements for this height of this and if you just if you want that measurement there for the just for uh, just because you want it let's give a measurement on that there all right so from the uh same place maybe from the back where the back seat goes if i can get that to the back of that let me just go on the angle there is roughly 20 it's hard to do that with the tape measure at an angle there so i'm going from kind of off the center there a little bit going along the edge of the uh the bracket and that shows it being 26 and maybe an eighth from that point there where the back seat goes to the back edge of the staple shifter is 26 and an eighth inches to this point right here so it'll only sit in one spot anyway so if you move that back and forth you get that this this hole here um inch and a half i probably gone a little bit smaller than that just to make sure i could get it sealed down nicely because when i put the piece in here the uh, holes are really close to the edge so there's that um Okay, and then of course the center console, I've got a video on how that's all wired up. Um, that basically gets two screws here. I will use the sheet metal screws on that. I have a bolt here, again, I did another capture nut on this instead of using sheet metal screws to bolt that down. And then there's two, there's two bolts that go in here that go in there basically at the bottom of the uh, center console. So that's your center console. That's your measurements. That's your staple shifter. I got to be on the wiring for it. Uh, I hope that helps somebody. Okay. All right. Peace.